Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, I've recently stayed in uh, Rhoda, Corfu. Just going to do a quick walk through the village, show you uh, some places uh, if you haven't been here before. We'll start off from the crossroads and walk down to the beach. There's going to be nowhere open because it is 7.30 in the morning. It's my last day here and I got a flight to catch in about two hours. So I've been staying over there, which is the Melinda Apartments. This here is the crossroads and then we take a right here and we can head down into the village. I'll point out some uh, places to eat, drink, where you can get some shopping. There is a gym there if you uh, need a gym. I said nowhere's open it is very early and just over here on the left is a place where you can hire scooters motorbikes and quad bikes uh, I think that one's called Sunriders price for a quad is about 50 euros a day I think a scooter is about 30 euros a day I'm not sure the uh, price of the bicycles there will be uh, another video on places to eat here um, in that video, I've only done places where I've actually eaten, so I can comment on them. Uh, and this one's pretty good. Taverna Drossia. There's a car rental place just there on the right. Um, I think he charges about 35, 40 euros a day for a hire car. Then we do have another place uh, called, called uh, Another place called Top Gear, where you can hire motorcycles, um, scooters, etc. And then just across the road from that is a place where you can book excursions. You can get trips to Albania, to Corfu, Old Town, um, trips all over the island. And the uh, medical centre. That's a great place if you fancy a coffee and a coffee cap. That is actually open this time in the morning. It's taken about four minutes to get uh, this far, so it's probably about a five minute walk down to the beach. And there's more uh, bars and restaurants down in this little bit here. It's 
So Oscar's bar there, that's really popular. And then just across the road over there is the Drunken Sailor, again another popular bar. Do uh, check out my other videos on Corfu or when I upload them. Uh, just over there on the left is the probably the biggest supermarket in the in the village, Care for uh, or Car for. That opens at 8 a.m. I believe. Yep, and it's open till half past midnight. So I do uh, recommend visiting this little village, it's lovely. The people are absolutely fantastic, so friendly. There are some great places to eat. Uh, the food is equally as good in all of the, the restaurants here. I do have my favorite restaurant, which I will point out in a minute. We have the Olivewood house olive oil soap shop over there cool Vespa and here we are um, at the seafront I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick this up but uh, if it does the mountains in the background is actual is actually Albania and I said previously you can get uh, a trip over there something I haven't done but uh, I definitely will do on my next visit. Mm, pretty, pretty stunning view. There's loads of little uh, shops here to buy souvenirs and gifts. That's a good one there. The couple that run it are uh, absolutely fantastic. And we're just coming up to the main bit now. I say main bit, it's uh, not very big at all. Where there's numerous bars and restaurants and some other shops. So the road in restaurant there. You'll see there is plenty of bars and places to eat here. As I said before, they're all equally as good. My favorite is this one here. 
Roxanne's. The food there is fantastic. The service is fantastic. Uh, never had a bad meal there. Definitely recommend them. Gallibera. We'll just go down this bit here. Uh, that's where the uh, the shops and the bars end. I'll spin around and take you up one other street. A couple more places to eat and drink down here. Um, again, if you want to book a tour anywhere, recommend uh, this place. Lady is lovely. And then we have Pirate's Bar, very popular place. And you can actually carry on walking down here. Uh, it's probably about a 30 minute walk to the next village along. Akaravi, I believe it's called. That's worth a, a walk, especially along the coast there. So I'm gonna spin back round. The seaport, they do great pizzas. And just down here, then we'll take one side street up, back up to the crossroads. So you can see it's not a huge village. Um, probably about 12 or 30 minutes into the video, I've more or less walked around all of it. But we're gonna uh, take a left here. And there are a couple more restaurants and uh, shops up this road. There's a couple of bars up here. The thorn tree here on the, uh, the left, that's a popular place. There's a little supermarket there. And then there's a couple more restaurants here. We have Nico's Family Re Restaurant. Another good place to eat. They do um, traditional Greek dancing. I think it's every Thursday. Great a bit of fun. They get the, the customers involved. And next to Nico's, we have Rhoda Park. So we're almost back at the, the main road. I walked down at the start of the video. So I will end the video here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of Rhoda in Corfu. 
Um, if you like the video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because it really does help. So again, thanks for watching uh, and please check out of my other videos.